If you're going to run stateful container workloads, you want to make sure that you have highly available storage. Spectrum Fusion and OpenShift Data Foundation makes that really easy. I'm going to show you how to use Spectrum Fusion to deploy OpenShift Data Foundation on bare metal. So I have an OpenShift cluster here and I've installed Spectrum Fusion. You can see that under installed operators. And if we take a look at uh, the nodes, you can see I'm running a three node cluster, right? Pretty small. These are storage rich nodes though. I'm installed on bare metal. And that's what I'm going to use uh, to get this up and running. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to launch the Spectrum Fusion GUI. And I want to set up services. And so you can see that I have three services available right now. My backup restore service, global data platform, makes data available all over the place. But what I'm really interested in right now for this demo is OpenShift Data Foundation. And let's just go ahead and click install. Um, you can see that there's no real options that I'm gonna to have to select. Uh, Spectrum Fusion is going to automate everything for me. Um, when I click to install this service, um, first Spectrum Fusion is going to install uh, the ODF operator. And then it's smart enough to know that I'm running on bare metal. And so it's also going to install the local storage operator for me. Now the local storage operator is used to examine the nodes in the cluster and to find storage devices. This is gonna take some time. So let's go ahead and skip ahead. Okay, that took, I don't know, maybe three minutes, um, I'm gonna say. Um, we can see that my service was installed successfully. I'm gonna follow the prompt to get started. And this jumps us to our data foundation page. I can see the storage hasn't been configured yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the button to configure storage. Uh, now, remember we, uh, Spectrum Fusion automatically installed that local storage operator for me and it configured the device scan. I didn't have to do anything. All I did was install uh, the ODF service and so, We've identified that these three nodes, you may recall we saw those earlier, um, have uh, storage. Uh, they have four disks each. Um, we can see how large each one of those are. And uh, Spectrum Fusion is also automatically checking to make sure that I have you know, enough resources to actually run uh, in terms of CPU and memory. And now it's just a matter of additional uh, settings. Do I want to dedicate nodes for infrastructure? This is uh, going to um, you know, apply labels uh, so that no other workloads get scheduled to those nodes. Now I only have a three node cluster, uh, so I'm not going to do that. If I had a much larger cluster and there were other worker nodes out there that I could run my workloads on, I would do that. But if I were to do this on this small cluster, then I wouldn't actually be able to run anything. Um, and then do I want to enable encryption? Well, that's always a good idea. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set that up and then I'm going to click add. I, I can see that I'm going to have a total of uh, just a, a little under a, a tibibyte of capacity that I'm going to be able to use. So now we can see that Spectrum Fusion is working uh, to bring that storage cluster online. Um, we have our three nodes. Uh, they're ready. We're in the process of adding the storage in, and this is going to take um, a minute or two. So let's maybe skip forward a bit. Okay, my cluster is up and running. I can see that my storage cluster is healthy, my data resiliency is good, and I have all that uh, capacity I just provisioned out. I haven't used any of it yet, right? Uh, so now I'm ready to go and actually deploy my stateful workloads in this cluster. So really it's that easy. Spectrum Fusion really simplifies how I deploy OpenShift Data Foundation onto bare metal. Um, you may recall the only option I actually even chose was whether or not I wanted encryption enabled. And then everything else gets taken care of for me automatically. Now we can go ahead and launch and view this in OpenShift and that'll take us directly to our data foundation view where I can actually start to see you know, my storage workload. I can see any events or activity. Uh, that are related to ODF. And so uh, there you have it, highly available storage from OpenShift Data Foundation. And, you know, setting it up was trivial using Spectrum Fusion.